Okay, I think we can go ahead and get started as people trickle in. Okay. Um, thank you for joining us, everyone. Just before we get started shortly, these are some housekeeping items. The webinar will be recorded and you'll receive the recording. If you have any questions, please drop them in the Q&A box. And also if the speakers don't get to all the questions, we will follow up. That's great, Alexis. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So welcome to how professional photography can transform your billboard. Today, our speaker is John James, founder of Signbird. And today's host is Jean Hopkins, Chief Revenue Officer of OneScreen.ai. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Yeah, we're really excited about marketing your billboard. And this is going to be really John James talking because he presented a version of this at the Independent Billboard Owners Conference last month in Kansas City. And it was super well received and we thought that we could share it with even more people. So we invited him for number two of what shall be probably many webinars that we'll be doing with Steinberg. And we wanted John to tell you why photography is so important in marketing your billboard. Welcome, John. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And yeah, to kick things off, I think billboard owners, media owners are probably asking themselves, why do I need to market my billboard that's also advertising businesses? It's this interesting question we need to ask ourselves, how do we market a form of advertising? And the way Signbird does it, we are a content marketing company. We go to your locations and we put cameras in the sky, cameras on the ground, and we market with photo video content. And before we kick off, we do have a poll question and Alexis, is it pulled up? That's the question number one. Please fill out this question. We'd love to take a poll for everyone. The question is, do you currently use professional photography to market your inventory? Number two, when was the last time you took a marketing photo of your inventory? And then number three is, how does it make you feel when you see real estate listings where you can tell the realtor took the photos themselves? So. Feel free to fill out that poll. Alexis, are we going to take the poll now or will we come back yeah. to it later? Yeah, I can share the results right now. Okay. All right. Do you currently use professional? Fantastic. I love that. Two out of two people said professional photographer. That's fantastic. When was the last time you took a marketing photo of your inventory? Weeks ago. Okay. I like it. It's not 10 years ago, which some of our clients say that 10 years ago. I know it's crazy to think. And then number three, how does it make you feel? So interested, looks like 50-50 there. We do have some real estate photos later in this webinar that I think is going to be thought provoking for sure. Fantastic. To kick things off, we do have an agenda for today's webinar. And I'm a, I try to be as simple as possible. We do have three things I want to talk about briefly. That content is king. And I will tell you who quoted that and why that is king and why it still resonates today. We have a second thing, protect the reputation. Your billboard does have a reputation, whether you know it or not. And the number three, good marketing is the great equalizer. A quote taken from someone that I follow very heavily in the marketing industry. So let's kick things off. Content is king. There's a little signbird photo back there. Compliments of Jen McQuaid, our, our content manager there. Shout out to Jen. Content is king. So <clears throat> what does that mean? And who said that? A guy by the name of, you might've heard of him. Bill Gates said that. In 1996, he said that he wrote an essay on the future of the internet. And in that essay, he released it on the Microsoft website. And in that essay, he talked about a lot of different things. But one of the main things is content and why content is king. He believed that the future of the internet and the amount of revenue that was to be generated from the internet, content would be a major part of that journey. That was two decades ago. And as of 2022, <laughs> what type of content companies do we have? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all these different places. A large share of content is shared not only by these companies, but they're user generated, which means they depend on the users themselves to generate the content. You know, the question here and why we're even talking about it is your billboard, right? When you are putting a proposal in front of an advertiser. When you put just a spreadsheet in front of a media buyer, does that sell the board? It, I guess it truly depends on why they're asking for the information in the first place. Maybe they're asking you to fill out an RFP with a whole bunch of spreadsheet information, which is 
great if you have that location in downtown New York City with great impression counts. But what's coupling alongside that is going to be a photo of the billboard, right? <clears throat> but when I was selling out of home, the way I tried to differentiate myself and my inventory from a competitor's is video, montages, drone footage, all these interesting perspectives that's really selling this ad space. Now, is, are impressions important? Absolutely. Is the DMA important? Absolutely. There's the data that, that goes alongside this, but content is king. Content is what helps stir up emotion. I think it was, I'm paraphrasing here, but a large percentage of people are visual learners. Why is that? Visuals help invoke emotion. It communicates value very quickly. And an argument can be made that people are emotional buyers. A great video of a billboard location with brake light traffic, with an exit, an, an interstate exit a hundred yards away, that communicates value. That communicates something that a spreadsheet with a bunch of numbers on it, which is great. But when it comes to photography, trust, but verify, right? Trust that the numbers are there, but verify it with great content. So that's what I have there, Alexis. Let's go to the second one. Protect the reputation. Your billboard has a reputation, whether as a media owner, you hear about it or not, specifically with your advertisers, right? If you ask an advertiser, how are you enjoying your campaign? They're going to say, it's great. I'm getting some phone calls, or they're going to say, this is great. Everybody in town loves this location and I'm a celebrity, right? There's this communal community reputation wherever your billboard's located, whether it be one of the largest DMAs in America or this photo back here was taken in Hartsell, Alabama. I know for a fact that this billboard is 100% occupied. It has a reputation, right? In that community. The, in not only post-sale does it have a reputation, but pre-sale it has a reputation on if it's valuable or not. And what I mean by that is what's the marketing material you're using to reinforce and to verify that this reputation is what you say it is, is as valuable as it is. I, I believe, especially when I was selling out of home, sometimes you only get one shot to make an impression on a media buyer to really help your inventory stand out from the rest. Because a media buyer, depending on the size of the agency, if it's a local restaurant or a national media buying agency, you're going to have small windows of opportunity to win the business. <clears throat> I believe when you get up to the plate, you got to knock it out of the park. Don't submit a 15-year-old brick photo. I was so encouraged to see that those poll resu results on the ones who took the poll, like professional photography. That's fantastic. That's really encouraging to see. And I would wager that those who took that poll, they understand that we got to make our inventory look absolutely beautiful because we're only going to get so many shots. We got to make every shot count. So when there is marketing content of your inventory out there for the world to see, it's just important to make advertisers feel confident, right? That goes back to invoking the motion. Since we're visual learners, don't you want to feel confident about the form of advertising you're about to write a check to and pay that company for? You want to feel confident that what you're writing that check towards has a great reputation and your content is huge to help protect that rep reputation. So that's the second thing I got. Let's go to the third thing, Alexis. <clears throat> Good marketing, the great equalizer. I love this, this five word phrase because I believe in it. I think David and Goliath comes to mind when I think about being the great equalizer. And the reason that is, is there are billboard companies out there that have the footprint, that have the reach, that have the, the inventory, the amount of inventory that some would might consider it a Goliath. And at that point, I believe you're really just competing with yourself. You're competing with your other, form, other inventory around your DMA. But in cases uh, when it comes to maybe your footprint isn't as strong in that market, what's going to separate you from your competition when you're getting that RFP from the national media buying agency that has really contacted every out of home company in the market. When you're competing against these competitors in your market, 
how are you going to equal the playing field? What's going to be the great equalizer when you're marketing yourself? And I believe great marketing, good marketing is the great equalizer. It allows you to have a slingshot in your hand to slay that Goliath, to differ differentiate yourself from your competition. I'll give you like a thoughtful example to think about. I-85 outside of Atlanta, Georgia, right? We did a project for a billboard company outside of Atlanta. It was an independent. They own one billboard on I-85, two static faces. <clears throat> When they're competing in a market like Atlanta against billboard companies that have a lot of inventory and also other forms of advertising in the market, not just out of home, how do you think a company like that is differentiating themselves from their competition when they might not have the inventory, they might not have the flagship location, the coveted location in downtown Atlanta, they're marketing their inventory like crazy. They know that in order for them to have a place, an opportunity at the table, they've got to have great approach photography. They have to have great drone photography. They have to have content that sells and differentiates themselves when national media buyers are asking for, they're submitting these RFPs, they're asking for inventory availability. What do you think is going to help you stand out outside of the spreadsheet, right? The impression count, what's going to help you stand out? I believe that good marketing is the great equalizer and it's going to give you an opportunity at the table. So that's the third thing. <clears throat> oh, I love this case study. I almost forgot about it. So Airbnb, we all know Airbnb. I, I hope at this point, this company, in fact, my wife and I are about to head to Chattanooga to be in an Airbnb over the weekend, which is, we're really looking forward to it. When we decided to book an Airbnb, we got on our app. And we looked at all the available houses to book. What do you think helped these places, these homes stand out to us the most? And this Airbnb case study talks about this exactly. So quick history lesson, Airbnb, I believe, we can go to the next slide, by the way, Alexis. I believe it was 2010, boom. Early on in the company, they were having some difficulty booking locations in New York City of all places. They were bleeding. And... They needed to find a way to really stand out and allow people to feel comfortable and confident and excited about their upcoming stays. And so they evaluated their bookings and they realized organically the host that submitted the professional photography of their stay, they, even though they weren't necessarily in the right zip code, their actual home was in, or condo apartment in this case in New York City, wasn't in the right zip code they were still good at getting a healthy amount of bookings and their occupancy rates looked really good. It had nothing to necessarily to do with the location. It was about the experience they were, the potential experience they were communicating to guests. That was the difference maker. Airbnb said, okay, we're going to go, and this happened. You can look this up. They went door to door and they purchased professional photography services for all of their bookings in New York City. This was in 2010. The results were immediate and doubled their monthly revenue in the market. This stirred, and at the, in, at, at the early stage of this company, they had a policy for all, after this happened, they had a policy for all new listings to have professional photography taken because they knew the return on investment. What if we as an industry decided every time we build a new billboard location or we convert one or we put a new advertiser up, we have a policy that every billboard gets a professional approach photo, professional drone photo, drive-by video, all these great pieces of marketing content. I wonder what the result would be for that billboard company just to have that policy in place. I love this poll that someone said, I think it was, they, they were at their billboard a few weeks ago. That's fantastic. Current, up-to-date. I love that. Keep doing that and spread the word that 10-year-old photos should not be the standard in the out-of-home industry. And there's a quick quote from the, I think, co-founder of Airbnb. It's very simple, but I really like it. This was also in this case study. It wasn't a surprise. This is what the co-founder of Airbnb said. It wasn't a surprise that people weren't booking rooms because you couldn't even really see what it is that you were paying for. It wasn't, let's say it another way. It wasn't surprised that people weren't booking ad space on billboards because you couldn't even really see what it is that you were paying for. 
I, it's a very simple quote and it's, and it resonates with me because we're visual learners. We want to know and feel confident in the purchases that we're making and updated professional photography of your billboard locations are going to convey that emotion and invoke that emotion out of advertisers. So that's what I got there. I think next we're talking, let's see. Oh, this is a great photo taken from that case study. You have your amateur. This is on the top side, it's the same room. On the bottom half of this photo, it's the same room. One's taken by an amateur. The other one's taken by a professional photographer. This is an Airbnb. These are Airbnb stays. Look at that. That's awesome. Look at that just difference on equipment, lighting, and the angle at which these photos were taken. Which one conveys a great experience? Of course, the professional ones. And so I'd love to go stay at one of those places. Okay. So what is Signbird? I've spoken about it a little bit already, but Signbird is the marketing company for the out-of-home industry. Our clients are out-of-home companies, media owners. We don't work with real estate companies. We don't work with architecture firms. We work with out-of-home companies. And what we do specifically, <clears throat> we will travel to your market. We will produce a series of deliverables. Those deliverables are approach photography, drone photography, drive-by video, signbird sheet design, which is our version of a sell sheet, a one sheet, and then our heavy hitting item, which is the billboard video proposal. It's a 60 second video that you can put on your website or your email signature or your social media page or in a proposal. And it will walk advertisers through how or what everything they need to know about that billboard location and it sells. That's its purpose. It's supposed to market your inventory and help you sell. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one, Alexis. Here's a quick project that we worked on in Battle Creek, Michigan. Shout out to our friends at Crossroads Digital Outdoor, Brad Holstad. This is a project, Battle Creek, Michigan. This was the photo that they had before. As you can see, it gets a little cold in Michigan, so they had some snow on the ground. As you can see, it had this one approach photo and no video. Let's switch it to the next one. This is what Seinberg did. That was the other side of the board we produce, but nice approach, in-lane approach, Nice warm day, uh, great sky, great visibility, stop by intersection. And on the right side of the screen here, that's a small six second clip of this location out of the probably 60 second video we produced. Check this out for a second. And we'll probably have to wait because it's on the loop. But there's a nice little Google map. <coughs> Excuse me. Google map. Look at that Firekeeper's Casino over there. Right? That's a huge selling point of this location. And that can't be captured in an approach photo. But look right here, we're able to show at that same intersection, just 150 yards to the east, there's a major fire keepers casino and hotel, right? The power of video and also the power of drone technology. We're able to show off these great commercial areas around these billboard locations. It's awesome. And maybe we should have Brad on the webinar next time, but I'd love to hear from Brad on the response he's been getting from advertisers on this location. Just wanted to show you guys a little thing about little material from Simon that we've produced. So yeah, also our mission statement to market for and add value to every out of home company in the world. That is a very large mission statement, but it is something we take very seriously. And we do in fact have a client after being in business for about two and a half years, we have a client in Turks and Caicos and we have interests in other parts of the world as well. I'm hoping one day we do get to serve those billboard companies in those other countries. But that's why our mission statement's big and something we take very seriously. Key takeaways from this webinar, and I have talked a lot, but key takeaways is this. Content is king. Protect the reputation. And good marketing is the great equalizer. So if you walk away with anything from this webinar, remember those things. And I think those quick bullet points there will help you think the next time you're thinking of ways to market your inventory and to keep in mind. And I think it's something valuable you can walk away with from this webinar. Yeah. And thank you. Also, something that we're all really excited about, Signbird has an, a great opportunity with our friends at OneScreen. It's a special offer. Um, in exchange for providing product feedback on the OneScreen platform, you'll get a Signbird marketing package from Signbird valued at $2,500 to improve your content. Meaning, <clears throat> like our friend over at Kennedy Outdoor, Richard Kennedy, if you decide to 
become a partner, I would say, with the one screen platform and help them give great feedback and consultation on their product, you will receive a Steinberg marketing package. Not only did we go and shoot his inventory in Mount Gilead, Ohio, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we also built his website as well. Um, you can check out that website. Let's see, can we put it here in the chat, Alexis? I think it's you Kennedy. have it in the chat. It's kennedyoutdoor.com. Oh yeah, just directly to me, right? Yeah, let's check this out. Hopefully I can share this. And awesome. we only have 12 more of these packages because we've already given one to Fruitland who started yep. working with us back in February mm -hmm. and then Kennedy. And we mm -hmm. have just 12 more, John, That's that right. we're looking for feedback from partners in exchange for that feedback. We're offering them a free Signbird marketing package or SMP. The first time I saw that acronym, I was like, what's a SMP? <laughs> <laughs> but then finally I figured it out a little slow on the uptake there. No, that's um, okay. That's okay. And it's a sweet deal. This is awesome. Like, why would you not like, and if I owned a billboard, I would take up, I would take you guys up on this offer. And that's the thing. Signbird is wanting to help you market your signs. And one screen is wanting to be that long-term partner to help you with your inventory and with your billboard company. And we're doing our best to do that. And so take us up on this offer. I think it's a very special one. And this is exactly why I think you, you illustrated the examples, John, about what Airbnb was able to do with better quality photos and just showing the difference between amateur versus professional. And then you also used a couple of examples in this webinar yourself about what it used to look like uh, without any video, but what you're able to do with video, which is so important. And what I love seeing about the videos that you've been able to provide is that as a media planner, you want to be able to say what's around. Like you were able to, Kaylee remarked upon the fact about Fireside a Casino there, to be able to see what's around it. If you don't have that drone footage, you don't have a chance to be able to see that. So I think that's pretty exciting for everybody to know and understand. So I thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Does anybody have any questions for John? Know who to get in contact with either here at OneScreen or at Signbird. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat pane, the question and answer pane. If you don't have any anything questions, we really appreciate your joining us today. It means a lot to us that you take the time to listen to cool things. We're trying to bring it to you to be able to give you more information to make your business better in this highly fragmented industry. And in the meantime, I guess we could just say so long, farewell. What do you think, Alexis? Yeah, yeah I think okay. so. I don't see any questions coming through. So thank okay. you everyone for joining. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you next time.